for problem number one for strength of materials draw the shear and moment diagram of the beam shown so we have a beam from point a up to point b which is a simply supported beam so the load is equivalent to 10 kilonewton per meter downward so, yeah. so before we can draw the shear and moment diagram of the beam shown so first we need to determine for the reactions so to determine for the reaction so we will use uh, three equilibriums of equation so those are summation of forces along horizontal equals zero summation of forces along vertical equals zero and summation of movement equivalent to zero so and so to determine for the support reaction at a so moment lang tayo sa b so summation of moment at b equivalent to zero clockwise positive so, yeah. so assume ko yung ra natin is upward and rb is also upward so kung lumabas is negative so interchange nyo lang yung direction so ra times so papuntahin natin mula point a up to point b so ang distance nya is 5 meters so times 5 meters minus so minus gravity load which is 10 kN per meter times so times natin siya sa distance 5 meters times yung centroid from midpoint up to point B so midpoint up to point B is 2.5 meters equivalent to 0 so RA natin equivalent to so x times 5 minus 10 times 5 times 2.5 equivalent to 0 so RA natin is 25 kilonewtons then next for support reaction at B so summation of moment at A equals 0 tayo so, papuntay naman natin lahat sa point A so clockwise positive pa rin so RB natin since counterclockwise so negative RB times 5 meters minus or plus na kasi papunta na clockwise na diba papunta na dito yung ating load so plus 10 kN per meter times 5 meters which is total length times centroid 2.5 meters equivalent to 0 so RB natin equivalent to negative RB times 5 plus 10 times 5 times 2.5 equivalent to 0 so RB natin is also 25 kN then next so, to check if tama yung support reaction A and B natin. So, summation of forces vertical equivalent to 0. Summation of forces vertical lang tayo. So, RA plus RB minus 10 times 5 equivalent to 0. So, ayan. So, RA plus RB is 50 minus 50. So, 0 equivalent to 0. So, it means tama yung ating values okay then next so start na tayo mag drawing ng shear and moment diagram so before we can start to draw so determine muna natin kung anong degree itong shape na to so based from strength of materials so kapag rectangle so ang degree nyan is 0 degree then next so pag nag plus 1 tayo ng degree so ang first degree natin is triangle. So, ayan. So, sige, start na tayo. So, for the shear diagram, so, shear diagram muna. So, start tayo from, from left to right. So, shear diagram natin, so, RA, dito tayo mag-start. So, meron tayo yung 25 kN, which is upward. So, ito, from 0 to 25 so, ito na yung ating shear at point A. 25 kN. Then, next, at point B, so, meron din tayong upward na 25 kN. Pero, di ba, ang sabi ko, start tayo from left to right. So, ito, so, isasama din natin siya, yung load. So, 25. So, to determine for the shear at point B, so, 25, so, di ba, meron tayong 25 
minus itong pababa which is 10 kN per meter 10 times 5 so ilan yung value from point A up to point B so mula point A up to point B meron tayong negative 25 kN so negative 25 kN so ayan so mula dito negative 25 meron tayong support reaction at B which is 25 kN so negative 25 plus 25 equivalent to 0 so ayan so dapat babalik kayo sa 0 kapag meron kayong support sa both sides so ito na yung ating shear diagram ay na then next for the moment diagram so for the moment diagram from left to right pa rin however so dito kapag nag zero yung ating shear sa shear diagram so it means meron tayo ditong maximum or nandito na allocate yung ating maximum moment so we need to determine kung gaano ba siya kalayo from point A up from point A or point B so determine natin kung anong distance to so tawagin natin siyang value of x so ayan so, based from geometry, formula of a rectangle, area is equivalent to base times height. So, base, then height. Tama, ba? So, ito, rectangle yan. So, ang area natin, so, ang magiging area natin dyan is yung last shear. So, ano ba yung last shear natin mula dito? So, mula dito, ang last shear natin is 25 kN. So, it means 25 kN equivalent to, so, yung base natin is tawagin natin x so x times height so yung height natin is yung uh, height natin is ito so ito etong load so 10 kN per meter so ilan yung ating value for x so 25 divided by 10 so x is equivalent to 2.5 meter. So, ibig sabihin, from support, ang maxi location ng maximum moment natin is 2.5 meters. So, ayan. So, x value natin is 2.5 meters. Which is true naman. So, assume nyo na lang, so, sa isang ruler, pag nag-apply nag kayo ng load sa gitna, so, ang maximum moment niya is nasa gitna. So, diba? Nandoon yung maximum deflection also. Then next, so for the moment diagram So for the moment diagram So it means magmo-moment lang tayo dito sa 2.5 meters And sa support B So at 2.5 meters So moment tayo Alright, ikaw ulit ito So Nasaan ba? Kita ba? Tumbes lang For moment diagram Siburahin ko na ulit to So for the moment diagram So magbo moment lang tayo at 2.5 meters So ayan So at 2.5 meters So ganito lang gagawin natin so, summation of moment at midpoint na lang. So, ayan. So, reaction, 25 kN. Pupuntayin natin sa gitna. Times 2.5 since sa gitna. Minus. So, ito. So, itong load na yan, which is yung kalahate, 10 kN per meter. Times 2.5 times centroid, which is one point, uh, 2.5 divided by 2 equals so ilan yung ating moment at midpoint 25 times 2.5 minus 10 times 2.5 times 2.5 divided by 2 so ang moment natin dyan is 31.25 kN per meter so it means so meron tayong so ang magiging graph natin 
So, for load diagram, so, pang i-take note na lang ba? So, for shear, so, so, shear diagram and moment diagram. So, or mali pa na. So, for shear diagram and load uh, moment diagram, so, ganito yung ating figure. So, ayan. So, increasing. Ah, ito. Ito is increasing. Then, ito is decreasing. So, ito yung shear and moment. So, check natin dito sa shear diagram. So, based dito sa shear diagram, so, meron tayong decreasing. So, mula dito sa point A hanggang sa midpoint, nag-decrease yung load natin. So, pag chinek natin, so, decrease. So, ito yan. Tapos na tayo dito sa decrease, di ba? So, decrease. So, ang magiging graph natin for moment is ito. So, dapat malungkot. So, ito. So, ulitin natin. So, from point A up to midpoint, meron tayong decreasing value. So, dito tayo maglalay. So, pag dinrawing nyo natin yung moment, so, dapat ito na. So, malungkot. So, ang moment natin is 31.25 kN per meter. Okay na yan. Then, next. So, moment naman tayo at point B. Equivalent to 0. Clockwise positive pa rin. So, ayan. So, RA natin, value natin kanina is 25 kN times 5 minus, so ito, total load 10 times 5 times 2.5 so ito, yung 10 kN per meter times yung length which is 5 times ito is centroid mula sa midpoint, 2.5 equals to 0, so ilan yung value natin so 25 times 5 minus 10 times 5 times 2.5 so value natin is 0 equivalent to 0 ayan so ibig sabihin from point A up to point B, nagkaroon tayo ng zero value. So, check natin kung paano ba yung magiging graph. Kung masaya ba or malungkot. So, based dito sa shear diagram, so, meron tayong uh, graphical representation which is increasing. So, increasing daw siya. ba? So, ito. Uh, I mean, decreasing pala, decreasing. So, since decreasing yan, so, dito pa rin tayo. So, decreasing, ibig sabihin, malungkot pa rin. So, decreasing which is 0. So, ito na yung ating shear and moment diagram for problem number 1. So, the maximum moment is 31.25 kN per meter. And the maximum shear is 25 kN. So, yeah. so, that's all for problem number 1.